this video we are going to find out how we can fix finally the charging problem with the Twizy. Let's go! So there we go, we've plugged in the Twizy, we've put it on charge and now it should be charging. We can walk away, have a cup of tea and watch the TV. But it's not actually charging. Even though the Twizy is making a noise, inside it's not actually charging the battery. Sometimes the voltage on the street voltage that comes to the houses is too high. And especially where you have a solar panel on your house, it makes the, the mains voltage in the street higher so that the uh, battery can't actually charge. Uh, the charger inside I think is limited to about 237 to 240 and for example our supply here is 250 on a, on a sunny day. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to plug in an extension lead. Let's have a look at the voltage on the supply. So here we go, I'm going to plug in a meter just to see what the reading of voltage is. And it says 251. Now that is too high for the Twizy to actually charge. So we need to find a solution. And that starts with these and a little bit of space. Bring on the tools. So I've had a hunt on the internet and I've found one of these. It's called a Variac. You can put mains into it and take mains out of it. It's rated at 20 amps and it allows you to turn the mains up and down so you can have a reduced output from the unit. So firstly, before we wire it up, we need to build a box. So here we go. So here we go, here's the box finally finished. We've got one Variac. We've got a, a socket which is basically what comes in is the same as what goes out. And this socket here is basically our out voltage. And I've also put a uh, breaker version on the side there, just for a bit of protection. And all we need to do now is add a couple of meters. I've got one so we can see what's coming in. And we've got one so we can see what's going to be going out. So the last thing we need to do is just test it. Let's go. So I'm going to plug in our box into the wall. Okay and we should see what voltage supply we have. Let's have a look. 
So coming in, we have 250 volts. And going out, at the moment, it says 214. So using the Variac, we can actually go down and up. Now let's look at the voltage now. 212, if I turn it up slightly. 222, 228, 234, 240, 246, 249. So 250 and 250, but we don't want that. We want to go down to about 230, 229, 224, something like that. So now let's take our Twizzy and let's just plug them in. So the Twizzy is now plugged in, dropping down to 209. Let's have a look at the amps. So here we are, you can see 10.5 amps. It's now drawing. Two thousand two hundred and forty seven watts. So two hundred and nine volts. Let me turn the voltage up to eleven, to fourteen, to sixteen, to nineteen, to twenty one, to twenty two. I think we'll stick it around about two thirty. There we are, two hundred and thirty volts at nine point four amps and 2,247 watts. That is fantastic. That basically means that now we can charge the Twizy even though the mains voltage is high coming in. Okay, let's have a look inside. So we can see that it's quite happily charging. We're now at 57%. Fantastic, that's a really good day's work. I'm so pleased with that, that that actually works now. We can charge with no problems. If you found the video really useful, then uh, please subscribe and uh, leave a comment and just let me know if you've managed to solve your charging problem as well. Anyway, until next time, take care, bye.